Welcome to the world of Warcraft. Greetings, adventurers. With the recent announcement of potential changes to raiding and endgame gearing in Season of Discovery, I thought it might be a good time to cover an example of what these changes might look like. Turtle WoW has already updated their Dungeon 2 sets, some being extreme changes and others focusing more on strengthening an already strong item set. For better or worse, Turtle WoW has not changed how the Dungeon 2 sets are acquired, but they have updated them into more interesting options overall in my opinion. I doubt the updated sets are game breaking or have made anyone drop their raiding gear just yet. Rather, the goal of this video is to help show you what these changes are and find out if any of the pieces are worth pursuing. As we explore these sets, keep in mind some of the changes you would like to see, or if any of these hit the mark in your opinion. I look forward to the discussion in the comments below. Before we begin, here's a quick guide to help you navigate the rest of this video. Listed will be each class's Dungeon 2 set items that have been updated. If an item has stayed the same between WoW Classic and Turtle WoW, it will not be shown to help save time. The items with changes will be shown as follows. The top shows the original item from WoW Classic. The middle shows the Turtle WoW item. And the bottom shows the changes the Turtle WoW team have made. Numbers in purple show a negative value and green a positive value. At the beginning of each item set, there will be a summary showing the entire set change from WoW Classic to Turtle WoW. I'll be vocalizing only the item name and changes for each item. Without further ado, let's dive in. The Warlock Dungeon Set 2 Death Mist Raiment gains 3% increased pet damage, 10% increased pet armor, 2% increased pet crit, and 3% to the pet's max HP. The player gains 4 armor, 44 spell damage and healing, 1% spell crit, 1% spell hit, and loses 7 intellect and 11 stamina. The Death Mist Belt gains 1% spell crit. The Death Mist Sandals now increase pet damage by 3%. The Death Mist Bracers now gain 5 spell damage and healing. The Death Mist Robe loses 4 intellect, 4 stamina, and gains 13 spell damage and healing, and 10% pet armor. The Death Mist Wraps gain 4 armor, 3 intellect, 1 spell damage and healing, and 2% pet crit. The Death Mist Mask loses 5 stamina, 5 intellect, and gains 10 spell damage and healing, and 3% to pet's max HP. The Death Mist Leggings lose 2 Stamina, 1 Intellect, and gain 8 Spell Damage and Healing, and 1% to Spell Hit. The Death Mist Mantle gains 7 Spell Damage and Healing. As a whole, the Five Thunders Shaman Dungeon 2 set gains 33 armor, 3% spell hit, 1% spell crit, 54 spell damage and healing, 23 mana per 5, while it loses 63 strength, 73 spirit, 3 intellect, 1 stamina. Cord of the Five Thunders has lost 10 strength, gained 4 armor, 1 stamina, 1 spell hit, 3 spell damage and healing, 
and one mana per five. Boots of the Five Thunders have lost 12 strength, 10 spirit, and gained one intellect, one spell hit, and three spell damage and healing. Bindings of the Five Thunders have lost nine spirit, gained two armor, five spell damage and healing, and four mana per five. Vest of the Five Thunders has lost 12 strength, 16 spirit, 2 intellect, and gained 1 stamina, 12 spell damage and healing, and 4 mana per 5. Gauntlets of the 5 thunders have lost 9 strength, gained 19 armor, 1% spell crit, 2 spell damage and healing. Quaff of the 5 thunders loses 12 spirit, 5 intellect, 4 stamina, and gains 10 spell damage and healing, and 5 mana per 5. Kilt of the 5 Thunders loses 10 strength, 16 spirit, 1 stamina, and gains 1 intellect, 1% spell hit, 13 spell damage and healing, and 5 mana per 5. Pauldrons of the Five Thunders lose 10 Strength, 10 Spirit, and gain 4 Armor, 2 Intellect, 2 Stamina, 6 Spell Damage and Healing, and 4 Mana per 5. The Rogue's Dark Mantle Armor gains 10 Strength, 12 Stamina, 1% hit chance, 1% critical strike chance, and loses 21 armor. The Dark Mantle Belt loses 5 armor and gains 5 strength and 3 stamina. The Dark Mantle Bracers gain 2 armor, 3 strength, and 3 stamina. The Dark Mantle Gloves lose 1 armor but gain one strength and four stamina. The Dark Mantle Pants lose 10 armor, gain one strength, two stamina, and 1% critical strike chance. The Dark Mantle Spalders lose seven armor and gain 1% chance to hit. Vestments of the Virtuous gain 4 Armor, 4 Spirit, 35 Spell Damage and Healing, 1% Spell Crit, 3% Spell Hit, 5 Mana per 5, and lose 3 Intellect and 1 Stamina overall. The Virtuous Belt gains 1 Spell Hit, and two spell damage and healing. The Virtuous Bracers gain one intellect, one spirit, one stamina, and four spell damage and healing. Virtuous Gloves gain four armor and one percent spell hit. The Virtuous Robe loses six intellect, four stamina, and gains 10 spell damage and healing and 1% spell crit. The Virtuous Crown gains 7 spell damage and healing. The Virtuous Skirt gains 8 spell damage and healing, 1% spell hit, 2 stamina, 2 intellect, and 3 spirit. The Virtuous Mantle gains 4 spell damage and healing, and 5 mana per 5. As a whole, the Soul Forge Armor gains 48 armor, 2 intellect, 5 strength, 2 stamina, 42 agility, 12 spell damage and healing, 2% crit, 1% hit, 
while losing 8 mana per 5 and 22 spirit. The Soul Forge Belt loses 4 mana per 5, gains 5 armor, 1% crit, 1 intellect, 1 strength, 1 stamina, 3 spell damage and healing. The Soul Forge Bracers gain 3 armor and 9 agility. The Soul Forge Gauntlets gain 34 armor, 5 spell damage and healing, 2 strength, 1 stamina, and 1 intellect. The Soul Forge Helm loses 12 spirit and gains 12 agility. The Soul Forge Leg Plates lose 10 spirit and gain 10 agility, 4 spell damage and healing, and 1% crit. The Soul Forge Spalders lose 4 mana per 5 and gain 6 armor, 1% to hit, 2 strength, and 11 agility. Overall, the Sorcerer's Regalia gain 4 armor, 41 spell damage and healing, 2% spell hit, 1% spell crit, 5 stamina, while losing 3 spirit, 15 intellect, and 20 spell resist reduction. The Sorcerer's Belt gains 2 spell damage and healing, and 1% spell hit. The Sorcerer's Bindings gain 6 spell damage and healing, and 2 stamina. The Sorcerer's Robes lose 7 intellect, 20 spell resist reduction, and gain 3 stamina, 12 spell damage and healing, and 1% spell hit. The Sorcerer's Gloves gain 4 armor and 2 spell damage and healing. The Sorcerer's Crown loses 8 intellect, 3 spirit, and gains 15 spell damage and healing. The Sorcerer's Leggings gain 8 spell damage and healing and 1% spell crit. The Sorcerer's Mantle gains 11 spell damage and healing. Overall, the Beastmaster armor set gains 29 armor, 3 agility, 6 stamina, 10 intellect, 2% hit, 2% crit, and 2% to pets melee and spell crit. The Beastmaster's Belt gains 4 armor, 1 agility, 3 stamina, and 1% hit. The Beastmaster's Bindings gains 2 armor, 2 agility, 1 stamina, and 2 intellect. The Beastmaster's Gloves gain 19 armor, 1% hit, and 2% to pets, melee, and spell critical. The Beastmaster's Pants gain 2 stamina, 3 intellect, and 1% crit. The Beastmaster's Mantle gains 4 armor and 1% crit. In Turtle WoW, the Druid's Feral Heart set is replaced with the Moon Heart set and loses 24 armor, 64 agility, 86 strength, 8 mana per 5, while gaining 7 stamina, 16 intellect, 6 spirit, 65 spell damage and healing, 3% spell hit, 3% spell crit. The Moonheart Belt loses 
5 armor, 7 agility, 6 strength, while gaining 2 intellect, 5 spell damage and healing, 1% spell hit, 3 stamina, and 3 spirit. The Moon Heart Boots lose 2 mana per 5, 7 agility, 12 strength, 1 stamina, and gain 3 spell damage and healing, 1% spell crit, and 2 spirit. The Moon Heart Bracers lose 6 agility, 6 strength, and gain 2 armor, 9 spell damage and healing, 2 Stamina, and 2 Spirit. The Moon Heart Vest loses 4 mana per 5, 9 Agility, 16 Strength, 4 Spirit, 1 Stamina, and gains 12 Spell Damage and Healing, 1% Spell Crit, and 3 Intellect. The Moon Heart Gloves lose 1 Armor, 9 Agility, 10 Strength, and Gain, 3 Intellect, 1 Spell Damage and Healing, 1% Spell Hit, 2 Stamina, and 1 Spirit. The Moon Heart Cowl loses 9 Agility, 14 Strength, 2 Spirit, 2 Stamina, and Gains, 8 Spell Damage and Healing, 1% Spell Crit, and 2 Intellect. The Moon Heart Kilt loses 10 Armor, 12 Agility, 14 Strength, and gains 15 Spell, Damage and Healing, 1% Spell Hit, 1 Stamina, and 4 Intellect. The Moon Heart Spaldrons lose 10 Armor, 5 Agility, 8 Strength, 2 Mana per 5, 1 Intellect, and Gain, 12 Spell, Damage and Healing, 3 Stamina, and 4 Spirit. The Battle Gear of Heroism gains 42 Armor, 4 Agility, 1 Strength, 2 Stamina, 2% 2 Chance to Hit, 1% Chance to Crit. The Belt of Heroism gains 5 Armor, 3 Agility, and 1% Hit. The Bracers of Heroism gain 3 Armor, 5 Agility, and 1 Strength. The Gauntlets of Heroism gain 34 Armor, 2 Strength, and 2 Stamina. The Spalders of Heroism Gain 6 Armor, 1 Agility, 1 Strength, and 1% Chance to Hit. The Leg Plates of Heroism lose 3 Armor and gain 1% Critical Strike Chance. And that's it for this video. If you've hung in here this long, please let me know what you think of these changes in the comments below. I look forward to seeing what you have to say about Turtle Wow's changes and what might happen in Season of Discovery. Thanks again, and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.